Hi guys, this is my York Bolton steam plant. I bought it partially completed, which means I had some work to do on it my, myself. And um, I'll just take you through uh, the basics of what the steam, steam plant uh, is comprised of. There were a few parts missing, amongst which uh, is the little box here, which originally has about six uh, different regulators and valves that is missing it was with a complex uh, setup of pipes and then there are the round cylindrical uh, gas tank holder that fits here to supply the gas burners it was something round you know like this that stood there I'm kinda happy it's gone because it really made the the, 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 the base quite cluttered and, and jammed so um, I'll, I'll find something to put there maybe a, a round wooden plaque or something you know but I'll think of it later well I had like I said I had to do the plumbing myself and I did it in my own way I'll just take you through the basics the plant consists of a boiler your typical vertical boiler which uh, is looks like something you see from the cheddar uh, series it has a little fire compartment there beautifully made door there you can see the burners the burners are actually two there's an outer larger one and a smaller inner one and each of the burners are supplied by their own jets there you see the one jet and the two jets which is actually a quite smart quite smart system you have your normal sight glass normal pressure gauge a whistle which gives a very good sound by the way you have a safety valve it releases about 50 60 psi which is quite good the chimney and then there are fire tubes in the middle which is quite good here you have uh, its own uh, the boiler has its own uh, piezo uh, lighter so once you turn on from the gas you can actually just light it without using an external match or lighter we come to the engine complex the engine complex is the typical engine complex you see in a Stewart 10H or a Stewart Victoria which is the normal uh, slide valve uh, compartment and the piston compartment and uh, just next to the engine complex you have a water pump setup and this water pump is driven of course by the engine and it gets water from this reservoir you can see the reservoir here and that's for refilling the tank in my own setup that I made I just put a single tap there so as soon as I close this tap which it's normally pumping water as soon as the engine is is live as soon as it's moving but once I close that tap it the water now on the pressure gets deviated into this clack valve that's a no return valve and the boiler can be filled on the operation as soon as I notice that the water is low the engine complex itself has a dead lead dead leg lubricator which is the normal lubricators you see a beautiful dummy governor which has those uh, lovely sliding gears there that run it it's very nice and then beside the engine complex you can see with this very realistic looking belt on the smaller flywheel you have a generator and this generator turns very easily and if you take a look at the LED there that lights up as soon as the generator turns all in all is a beautifully made engine quite meticulously put together you can see a lot of thought has gone into it it has a lovely large flywheel that is poetry in motion once it starts moving and a special feature which I'm very um, happy to show off because I haven't actually seen it in any other type of engines these little taps there there and there once you unscrew these taps there these little tubes that lead to this container and then all the leftover water and uh, oily gunk that are in these two chambers sort of like drain out you see this drains the valve chamber and these other two lead in through the block into the piston chamber so after running it's quite smart that you can just blow compressed air through and then you actually empty your whole engine of all the gunk that usually remains in the engines the exhaust comes through this pipe into this condenser the condenser or oil trap if you like the steam will be released there close to the chimney and then the oil gets trapped here with the condensed water which goes into the plants own uh, chuff pot and that's the chuff pot which I can empty as desired and then I also put this extra tube that leads to my own uh, homemade chuff pot just in case it gets filled well 
all in all it's a nice plant I'm going to fill it with water now and get it running and uh, if you want to see the video of it running you'll have to see part two thanks